by the way, here's my tent. That's the whole tent right there. And this is where the slide outs are gonna be. I need to get this done in like six weeks, seven weeks. So, uh, because I said I was going to Tiny Fest, so holy So before this video even gets started, we're gonna get a quick word about Skillshare and what it can do to benefit you. You know, all that good stuff. Here we go. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. What is Skillshare? What is going on here? Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, such as yourselves, exploring new skills, deepen your existing passions, and get lost in creativity. That sounds like a good idea to me. How has Skillshare helped me? Well, I use Adobe for everything. I use Adobe Premiere Pro, I use Adobe Lightroom, I use Adobe Photoshop, and now I'm getting involved into Adobe Illustrator. I don't know Adobe Illustrator. I'm not very good at it, and I need to create some more t-shirts and logos and branding from what I do, so enter Skillshare. Skillshare is literally made specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always evolving with new premium classes. You can get Skillshare for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. But also the first 1,000 to click the link in the description will get a free trial of a Skillshare premium membership. So what are you waiting for? Let's start your creative journey right here, right now. I'm sitting in my office right now and getting some work done. By the way, that's the base of the desk that I'll be using. It's like a pipe. This video is gonna span over a few days. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more in the life of what the heck I do. Put a jacket on because it's 39 degrees outside. Uh, by the way, this is the, uh, the desk that I was showing in the last video. Hold on, ready? Let's see what he's doing. Oh, shnikes. First of all, Christian, you look like you're freaking freezing in here. Can't turn the heater on the table saw at the same time. All right, um, this is the shop, guys. This is pretty much what Mini Ghost Town's all about right now because um, <laughs> I can see your breath. You're cold. Getting it. You want to plug the heater in so you can like turn it on in between? This is, uh, this is the shop space that I'm in. Fireball. You're gonna do some sign, okay? <laughs> I got some big old draw slides down here. That draw. Are draw that are gonna go on that angle aluminum right there. Let's just go out here real quick and I'll show you guys what Christian is up to. Oh man, I didn't bring my keys. All right, well, I can't do that. All right, so Christian, probably, let's see if you guys can see. How's the lighting in here? Oh, it's terrible. Christian put up his ceiling boards that we saw a long time ago, uh, but he also put up his upper cabinets. Yeah, man, I'm coming in. I was just making sure I was in your I'm way. coming in hot. Is this the road tripper bag? Bulky. The reason I'm talking about this right now is because I haven't announced this officially, but I'm pretty much, Tiny Fest is doing a festival. It's a modified festival, but it's still a festival that's happening the last weekend of February. I have already said that I really want to go to it because I've been missing out on those. I think Christian is actually going too. Is that correct? I believe so. And we both have been really, did you get my gun in here? My, my Brad Miller? Boom. Boom. Uh, by the way, what Christian is doing is he's using uh, liquid nails, right? Correct. Oh yeah, it's it's like a, it's like Maxta. yeah, it's like a it's like a really really uh, strong adhesive, construction adhesive, and then he's putting the boards up and then he's brad nailing them in. It's one way to do it. I mean, their cedar panels are super light. You want me to hold it down while you do that? Let me see. Just yeah. put the camera up somewhere. No, you're yeah. good. Okay. Ready? We're gonna do one of these. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one more. There you go. All right, going back to what we were saying. Uh, I want to do this trip down to San Diego. I was thinking about how I'm going to be, how I want the Jeep, right? And I'm going to be doing the build out. I thought about like clothing storage. Well, in an overlanding rig is a little bit different than, you know, in a van, right? You can store clothing like up here in cabinets or in drawers or something like that. In my rig, most of it's outside. So I have a tent that's gonna open up and put all that stuff, you know, I need to like pack clothing in. So what I'm probably gonna do because my boy here works at REI, their 60 liter bag might be perfect for what I'm trying to like carry with me, I guess. So packing cubes will be like, it'll like make my clothes in different areas, I guess. And then the bag will actually have my entire wardrobe. Contain all the packing cubes. Con contain all the packing cubes or my packing cubes might go into a portion of 
my slide out that I'll be, you know, using. So it'll be kind of like a, uh, the packing cues will be mixed usage. But anyways, let's get into the rest of this video. Christian, you have anything to say, man? I don't know how I'm going to do this piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the days go? <laughs> I am actually recording this pretty much the day before I release this video. And all I want to do is go watch some football. You know, I started this video off, you know, me working actually on the table that's behind me. Um, but trying to get a lot of work done on my Jeep and it just didn't happen. I'm going to take you guys outside right now. We're going to show pretty much the progress that I've done on the, the little, very little progress I did on the Jeep, mostly because I was trying to get this project done. Some of you actually may be asking at this point that I uh, do a video on something like this. I didn't do a video on this only because this is like my first time that I've worked like this extensively with this amount of epoxy. This is a lot of epoxy. This was over $200 worth of epoxy. I used four different colors in this thing. I love it, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love it. It is my new desk and that's going to be, I guess my work desk or my studio desk moving forward. Uh, pretty much I'm building out this office space into a uh, studio room with a nice backdrop. That's what that is right there. I'm actually gonna be painting that white. So there's, I love bricks. I love the look of brick. I, I got like a white wash. It's an off white that'll actually, uh, it's fake brick by the way, it's not real brick. And then that's a reversible wall. So uh, the other side is gonna be a pallet wall. So there's gonna be pallets on one side, a white brick on the other, and I can reverse the two to have a backdrop. I'll also I'll have a drop down screen, like a, like a black screen or a white screen or a green screen. Uh, so I can have that as a drop down as well. Uh, the camera will pretty much be where my light is and it'll be pointing this way. I'm setting that up so I can do more informational based vlogs to get more information about van building or tiny home development or uh, starting a YouTube channel, whatever it may be. I'll be doing a lot of like talking points from here. I'll also be doing live streams from here and I'll be doing uh, my podcast from here. Well, talk to my brother Steven and him and I are gonna revamp my podcast, which is gonna be cool. The whole nine is gonna be nice right here. I'm super excited about that. Let's go outside real quick. Oh, and you guys will get a nice look at my rooftop tent situation. Such a nice day today. It's like in the mid forties. All of my products for the back of my Jeep are right in here. Looking forward to kind of fitting all of that into what I'm making. These right here are angled aluminum or angle aluminum or whatever you want to call it. But you can see right here that it is thick. It is a quarter inch thick and it's four inches here by three inches here. Uh, there's a reason for that. I'm going to have two separate slides. They're both 58 inches in length. This one is going to be like a seating area. They're, they're, they span the entire width of my the bed of my truck. Each one is about half. Anyways, this one is the passenger side and it's going to be the seating area. Uh, it's going to be 58 inches long of a seat and there's going to be a backrest. And there's also going to be storage underneath it. Draw sides are mounted directly to the aluminum and they pull out on full extension, heavy duty draw slides. These can hold up to 500 pounds, but I'm a heavy guy, but I don't weigh that much. This was a pain to just get it perfect because uh, you have to get the heights perfect. You have to gonna have to get the distances perfect when I start attaching the 8020 aluminum. I'm also going to be using, this is a flat bar aluminum to go across it and I have to actually uh, bolt it into place. This was an engineering mess that I just had to kind of like work myself through. Once I was seating and then the other side, the driver's side is gonna literally hold all of this stuff, uh, except the heater. It's gonna have a refrigerator. My power source is inside. So I've got a 100 amp hour, uh, low temperature rely on battery. Um, the rest of the products are from Light Harvest Solar. DC to DC charger, I'm gonna be able to charge that battery off of my alternator, as well as solar. I have a solar charge controller. I got everything that I need. It's only gonna be run off of DC power. AC is actually gonna be a portable station. We'll get into that in a totally separate video. I got my water tanks, Rotopex, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's good. I'm, I'm gonna fit all of this into that. I got the Guzzle H2O, the water purification uh, system. Uh, that was actually a gift from Guzzle. I bought their like portable thingamajiggy where you can like pull water from a stream and then this was a gift to me. So appreciate you Guzzle H2O. Perfect for vans by the way, if you are looking to have a water, because it's super small. It's like really tiny. Oh, and my sink. There's a sink right there too. Why is that three inch so important right there? There's ribs inside of the truck and that actually fits in between the ribs perfectly. 
but I actually have to raise, it's a, lot, it's a lot of engineering and I'll show that at a later, on a later video. As I'm walking outside, let me know if you guys want to see more videos of the engineering aspect of all of that. By the way, here's my tent. <laughs> That's the whole tent right there. And this is where the slide outs are gonna be. I need to get this done in like six weeks, seven weeks. So, uh, because I said I was going to Tiny Fest, so holy crap. Give you guys a quick little peek of the tent. There was only, a, at the time when I bought the tent, there was only a couple companies, a tent that fit over a five foot bed. This is only a five foot bed. That's only 60 inches. So I needed a tent that could go only five feet. So, and I will do an entire video about the tent. I just want to take it out and be out in the wilderness somewhere before I actually do a full video of it. There's the screen for it. And this actually does flop down. It does take a minute for it to, you know, open up and prop open and all that stuff. But here's the inside. Now, normally these windows would be open uh, with, you know, these bars right here. Would also, thank you to Desert Armor. Uh, I bought this tent, but, and I'm a brand ambassador for them. So if you're looking for a rooftop tent as well, you can also check, check out them below. Uh, they also sent me the insulation package, which is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Um, which is fine. It's great. That's actually good insulation. So pretty much, uh, you know, I'm about, we're midway through winter right now. I hope to try it out and test it out, but, um, it does zip in. There's actually a zipper right up here. You can see, and it goes all the way around. So it zips into, you know, the sides of the, uh, of the tent walls, I guess I can then take that heater and I can, you know, I can duct the heat up into the window here and I have a really comfortable from what I understand insulated room or tents there's a sunroof there for stargazing wanted to show you the tent i wanted to show you what was going to happen um again let me know below if you guys want to see more of the engineering aspect i'm going to show it in stages but let me know if you guys want to actually like know the inner thoughts in my brain i will show you progress of me building it if you want me to actually be like this is why and this is how I will go into bigger or I will go into more details of the slide outs. It is just a little bit more work for me, but I would be happy to share what's going on in here. I, I just need, it's going to take me a little bit longer. It's okay. I'll figure it out. But let me know if you guys want to see that or if you just want to see the progression of it all. I might even try and go skiing with it. I got to buy some skis. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Till next time. I'll see you guys later. Later.